You're moving up to the 140 division to face Maidana after our class in Casillas at 135. Why make the move to 140? Making the move to 40, I want to fight the best. You know, I want to jump into those big fights. Uh, 140 pounds, there's a lot of fire there. You got Amir Khan, you got Timothy Bradley, Devin Alexander, Matisse, you got 47, you got uh, Berto, you got Ortiz. I mean, there's so many fighters, uh, Floyd Mayweather, Pacquiao, it's all right there in that division, and man, that's where you want to be. You want to be where the best is at. Do you think you left any unfinished business at the 135 division? Um, yeah, you know, there's, there's unfinished business there. Um, you know, there's some big fights there, but the trouble I have is getting the fights at 135. And, um, you know, that's always been the trouble with me is, is getting getting those big championship fights with, with other champions. And, um, you know, you got to make that move to, um, you know, to get those big fights. And, and moving to 140, you know, there's, there's those fights that are right there and, and fight guys that are willing to fight. Now that you're moving up to 140, you're facing the dangerous, hard-hitting mark of Maidana. What do you think is a hard fight and not a soft tuna? I'm one of those throwback type of fighters. I want to fight the best, man. You know, tune-ups and all that stuff. Um, you know, those those are those are for when you're when you're coming up in the ranks to prepare you for championship fights. I want to fight the best. You know, I want to go out and fight the hardest, toughest, roughest guys because you know that's what the sport's lacking, and that's what I want to do. Is I want to. I want to build this sport up to, to, you know, as great as it should be and where it should be at. And, and that's the best fighters fighting the best. And, um, you know, that, that's why I, I chose to fight Marcos Madonna. You know, the hardest hitting guy, you know, though, puts a lot of pressure. I mean, you can knock him down, he gets up, and I think it even makes him better when he gets knocked down because he comes even tougher. I like to fight the best. I want to fight the best because I want to be the best. Hopefully a lot of fighters start realizing that and start making stuff happen. As a fighter who, like you just said, always is always willing to fight the best, is always willing to take the big risk, what do you personally think about the fighters that aren't willing to do that? I think it's weak. You should be willing to fight the best. You know, I'm a big believer in God. And one thing I know is God blessed me with a huge talent in this sport. I'm a five-time world champion in, you know, three different weight classes. This right here, you know, when you get blessed with something great, you know, you got to put out what God blessed you with. So that's why I come out and I want to fight the best and I want to put out the best that I can because, you know, it, the fans deserve it. I mean, dude, boxing fans are the greatest fans in the world. You know, the roughest, toughest, ruggedest, unforgiving fans. And, and they want to see great fights. And I think, uh, you know, fighting the best is what's going to give them that win or lose. Now your last fight was the most spectacular performance that you've ever put on, yet you trained in Las Vegas for that training camp. You're up in Big Bird for this one. Why the move up here when Las Vegas is so successful for you? Being uh, at 140 pounds, um, you know, I don't need the heat. I don't need the heat, uh, you know, it's probably about 100 or something in Vegas. You know, it's more fresh up here in Big Bear. Um, you know, more secluded where you're able to, to focus more. So, um, you know, me and my team sat down and, uh, you know, that's what we, uh, we agreed was come up here and, and get ready for the fight out here. What do you think about the training up here in Big Bear? Oh, it's great. Training's great. Um, you know, it, it, it's something else up here. It's something else, uh, you know, being in 7,000 feet elevation, um, you know, training, running. It's tough. It's tough. It's like doing double work every time you get in the gym, every time you hit that road to run. Um, you know, everything's like double. And, um, you know, when you, leave the, when you leave the mountain, you feel great. Now, you're adding five pounds for this fight. What type of techniques do you implement in training camp to, to make sure it's not a bad five pounds? Start bench pressing. No, I'm just joking. Um, all the adjustments with, uh, with the diet, you know, having the right diet, the proper proteins, everything, mixing it up the right way. And, um, you know, everything, everything starts balancing out the right way. What does Marcos Maidana have to expect when he looks across the ring to Robert Guerrero that night? Man, a determined man that comes to fight all the time. Um, you know, it, it, it speaks for itself. You know, I'm getting in the ring with the best fighter. And, um, you know, when you're going to step in the ring with one of the best fighters, one of the hardest hitting guys in the division, one of the most pressurous guys in the division, um, you know, he's all around tough guy. Um, you know you're going to be 100% ready. So, um, you know, he, he knows I'm going to be ready. And the one thing that I admire about uh, Marcos Magana is, you know, he's out in Puerto Rico for, I think, going on eight, nine weeks already preparing for me. Um, you know, when I look at that, you know, that excites me because I know he's taking me serious and he don't look at me like, oh, I'm just going to walk through this guy. 
So he, he's always, he's going out there to get in the best shape he can. So, um, you know, it's exciting. It's exciting and you know it's going to be a good fight. So, um, you know, I know he's expecting a good fight and that just tells it all. He's out in Puerto Rico getting ready for me. So I know when he looks across that ring, he's going to be like, hey, this guy's in shape. He's ready to go.